Now the time has come to attach our conveyor belt. Now in this video I already had a prototype conveyor belt on the printer and so this will serve as a good guide on how to attach a conveyor belt to your printer for the first time or to replace your conveyor belt when one of them wears out. The first thing we are going to want to do is to is to move our XY axis up a little bit to make it easier to get to the four leveling screws on the heated bed. Next we want to tighten down, aka lower, all four of the heated bed screws. If you're attaching the conveyor belt for the first time, I'd recommend tightening them down quite a bit, maybe even all the way down. Next, roll the conveyor belt to where the seam sits in between the heated bed and the front roller of the printer. Next, I'm going to loosen up the four M5 bolts that attach to the sliding T-slot nuts on the back roller of the printer. That way, the conveyor belt loses tension and becomes loose. Next, we can cut along the seam of the conveyor belt with a razor blade and remove the old belt. Next, slide the new conveyor belt in between the heated bed mounts on the left and right side of the heated bed and wrap it around the heated bed. Once it's mostly in position, I like to find something heavy and put it on the back of the conveyor belt just to loosely hold it where it's supposed to be. Next, cut a piece of polyester tape just a little bit wider than the width of the conveyor belt. The adhesive on this tape is pressure sensitive. So what that means is in order for it to activate properly, you need to apply pressure to the tape. Here I'm doing this with a 3D printed scraper, but you can probably use a straight edge of any kind. Once the polyester tape is connecting both sides of our conveyor belt, we can trim off the excess from both sides of the tape and start to tension our conveyor belt. I like to start with the back roller on the side closest to the power supply. I'll move back and forth between the power supply side and the control board side of the printer, adjusting until the belt becomes flat on the heated bed. However, I also like to tap on the top of the conveyor belt on top of the heated bed to look for any points that are too high and not in contact with the heated bed. By moving back and forth in between adjusting the conveyor belt roller at the back of the printer and using the four leveling screws, we can reach a point where the conveyor belt lays nicely over the heated bed and in between the two conveyor belt rollers.
Here I'm tapping on the top of the conveyor belt to look for any points where it isn't contacting the heated bed, and we can adjust the heated bed screws to bring the heated bed in contact with the bottom of the conveyor belt. One thing to look out for as a word of caution, sometimes the top of the conveyor belt can look nice and smooth, but in reality on the bottom side of the conveyor belt, the edge of the conveyor belt is rubbing up against one of the heated bed mounts. This may not cause issues right away, but will over time and should be avoided. Finally, set your YN stop so that the hot end nozzle comes just above the heated bed and you should be good to go and start printing. Stay tuned for a future video where we go over how to calibrate a conveyor belt 3D printer. Thanks for watching and happy printing.